How's it everyone? Welcome back to another list feature right here on Open Court. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I like to make these lists. And today we're doing a top five of my favorite Solenco strings. So Solenco is one of the most popular stringing brands on the market currently. There are many, many good strings in their lineup, both poly and non-poly. I love their poly lineup and I'm sure a lot of you guys like a lot of their strings as well. So I'm curious what your top five Solenco strings are. So get down in the comments below and let me know. But for me, you will find some notable strings missing from this list. This is just my opinion based on my play style and what I like. So without further ado, let's get into the top five. So starting with number five is actually their most recent release and that string is the Solinko Hyper G Round. I was very pleasantly surprised with this string. I'm not a huge fan of original Hyper G as I've said before on this channel, but when I tried the Hyper G Round, I found it very predictable and I love taking huge swings from the baseline. It's one of the better round polys that I've tried. I really liked shape polys, but recently I've been appreciating a little bit more uh, the round poly side because it gets a little bit more of a predictable launch angle and sometimes the shaped polys get stuck out of place and it tends to play somewhat erratic as I've found with original Hyper G but the round really surprised me. I really liked it. It doesn't get a whole lot of spin potential which is why it's number five on this list but I am curious to try a Hyper G original and round hybrid very soon so look forward to that video. So number four on this list might be a surprise to some people. It's the Solenco Tourbite Diamond Rough. Ah, you thought I was gonna say Tourbite, huh? The Diamond Rough is one of the most underappreciated and underrated Solenco polys in my opinion. I rarely ever hear anyone talking about this string. I love it personally, and I like it a little bit better than the Hyper G Round because of that Diamond Rough shape. It's very, very grippy, so it does provide really good spin. For a round string, um, it's not technically a round string because it is textured, but it grips the ball well. It provides a nice predictable response. It's a little bit livelier playing than the Hyper G line, which is why I like it, but it's also very soft and gets good power. I actually think this string is very comfortable and if you have tennis elbow, Diamond Rough might be an option for you if you wanna stick with polys, but this string gets the feel, it gets the uh, spin, and it gets the power and it just overall plays really well. The diamond rough, it is on the very rough side. So if you play with low tensions, like low 40 or sub 40, it will get stuck out of place. So it might not be the best option for those people. It also doesn't hold tension quite as well as some of the stiffer polys on this list, but the diamond rough is a very pleasant surprise. Check it out if you've never tried it before. All right, number three on this list is a string that I have reviewed on this channel as I have with all of them actually. And I've tried every single Solinko Poly and this round poly stands out the most and that is the Solinko Outlast. This string is around $10 a set, making it cheaper than even Tourbite and Hyper-G and it's one of the best budget polys I believe on the market. This string does everything really well. In fact, it does some things above average it doesn't excel in any one category, but it is one of the best round polys that I've ever used, right along with like Yonex Polytour Fire and Luxalon Alu Power Original, which are some of my favorite round polys. The Outlast does play a little bit livelier. I wouldn't quite call it a crisp string. It's not as crisp as Polytour Fire. It's probably not as powerful as Polytour Fire either, but it does provide a good lively response. You get that good feel feedback. It's firm and controlled, but also very comfortable. It provides a decent amount of power. It's not as soft as Solinko Diamond Rough, but the Outlast will make a great cross in a poly poly hybrid with something shaped in the mains. I just think the Outlast does everything well. There isn't one true weakness with it. I love the color, it's red, it's my favorite color. So the Outlast also, give it a try if you guys have never tried it. I really like this string, it plays very predictably. Okay, so number two on this list is a string that I haven't reviewed for quite a while, but I do have a review on this channel, so I'd like for you guys to check it out. It's one of my earlier videos, but it's the Solenko Revolution. 
This is another string that I don't really think gets the fanfare it deserves. Everyone talks about Hyper-G, everyone talks about Turbite, rightfully so, those are very good strings. But for those of you guys who like control from the bass line, I know a lot of people like Confidential because it plays very dead, very predictably. The Solinko Revolution, in my opinion, is probably the most predictable playing string on the bass line. It is quite stiff though. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the stiffest strings, not just in the Solinko lineup, but one of the stiffest strings that I've ever tried. I actually really like that stiffness and it doesn't move a whole lot in the string bed. It gets very little string movement, but it is a six-sided uh, hexagonal shaped string and the shape is pretty sharp. So it grips the ball very well. It's one of those strings that actually provides good spin without so much snapback. It's mostly just the grip that the string provides on the ball. But because of that, it provides a nice low launch angle, very predictable. I love this string on my returns. I can just crank that forehand and not worry about the ball saving long. It doesn't play quite as crisp as Tourbite or it's probably along the lines of Hyper-G, not quite as mushy, but it does provide a decent amount of feel and touch, which is why I also like it from the, the net. But in my opinion, the Revolution is a great racket to serve and stay on the baseline and hit ground strokes all day with. It's very comfortable with its response. You can feel the ball hitting the strings and you know exactly where it's gonna go. So the Revolution is another string that I believe needs to be talked about a little bit more. It's my second favorite Solinko Poly. Check it out if you guys have never used the Revolution. All right, so we're finally at my number one Solinko string. Can you guys guess what it is? If you guys have been watching this channel for a long time, of course you can. It's original tour bite. I'm sorry it's not the most creative answer. I'm sure maybe some of you guys were hoping for something else, but unfortunately, well, or fortunately, the tour bite is my number one favorite Solinko string. In fact, it's one of my favorite current polys on the market. I love tour bite because it plays the crispest and liveliest and most responsive out of all the Solinko polys. In my opinion, the only ones that rival this string in terms of crispness is Headlinks Tour, Luxlon, Alu Power, Feel, just to name a few. There aren't very many strings on the market currently that has this level of crispness. And that response allows me to hit all sorts of shots, aim for small targets, take high risk, high reward shots, which is my style of play. And this string just does everything well for me personally. It's a great string to serve and volley with. I love this string at net because it's nice and responsive. When I punched volleys, I get solid contact. I know exactly where it's gonna go. It's great for touch shots, even though it is quite on the stiffer side because that crisp response lets me hit drop shots, lets me hit angles, basically wherever on the court, from wherever to wherever. I just love the tour bite on the touch shots. I also love it from the baseline on my returns. I know exactly where the ball is gonna go when I strike it and it gives me that really satisfying pop sensation when I strike it in the sweet spot. It does wonders for my confidence and the Tour Bite Original, in my opinion, is Solinko's best poly. It's my favorite poly and it takes the number one spot on this list. I know it's no surprise, but this is my top five list of Solinko strings. Now I'd like to hear your guys' comments. What are some of the strings you like? What are your top five? I know notably absent from this list are original Hyper-G and Confidential. I know some people love those strings. They get very popular rave reviews. I'm not the biggest fan of either of them. I'm not gonna talk about them too much right now, but let's just say I just don't really like the response from either. So that concludes my list. Now let me hear what your top five strings are from Solinko and let me know if you wanna see a top five strings list from other brands. I'm thinking maybe Yonex because I'm going to Japan soon. I've tried almost every Yonex string, so I just want to fill in the gaps, the ones that I've missed, and maybe do a top five Yonex strings video. But let me hear from you guys, what are your top five Solinko strings? And if you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.